Hello there, folks. Monkey Cook here, a.k.a. your Lonely Achievement God. Coming at you with another Achievement Guide video for Power Wash Simulator. Today, we are taking a look at one of the more difficult achievements in the game, the Good Dings to Come achievement for 100G. It is for cleaning 95% of any job without completing any tasks. Now, there are two schools of thought for doing this achievement. As you can see on the screen, I am in one of them. We have the Penny Farthing Bike. It is very simple, only seven individual parts and nine pieces total. It makes it very quick to get the uh, achievement. If you do screw up, it only takes about six minutes to try to complete this again. You can do this very quickly. Uh, the other option that is tossed around is the Ancient Monument. The Ancient Monument is the hand. Keep that in mind. Don't try to do the Ancient Statue. It is the Ancient Monument. And all of the pieces are relatively big, so you don't have a lot of risk of accidentally cleaning something to 100%. However... It is a much longer, uh, much longer attempt. You're looking 30, 45 minutes, an hour to get it completed. And if you screw that up, uh, you may have to go another 30, 45 minutes, an hour. Um, if you do use the Ancient Monument, I highly recommend working on inside the hand first, because that is the trickiest part. But I'm going to be showing you how to get this achievement on the Penny Farthing Bark Bike bark. We're going to be using the highest power washer uh, we have to start off. So we have the Prime Vista Pro and once we start getting to the point where we need to uh, whittle our health bars down to a lesser at a lesser rate, we're going to switch to weaker power washers that will help us get the percentages down without hopefully ripping all the dirt off using the really powerful washers. The other thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing to start on the places where the bikes uh, overlap and the pieces overlap. That way, this center portion of the front fork is very easy to clean, but the portion by the wheel could cause us trouble, or the portion by the uh, front fork excuse me, the portion by the frame or the seat support or the handlebars could be a pain to try to whittle down later on. So we're going to focus on these portions that interact and overlap right off the bat. We want to get these done with so that we can focus on the easy parts later on very quickly and without fear of accidentally uh, washing a portion of the bike that we are dangerously close to completing. So what I recommend doing is going over to each side and working on the wheel. And I, I recommend working on the frame up to here. And we're going to get down on our knees here. And we're going to spray up into the seat. Now watch your meters here. The seat support is at 89%. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to switch to the Prime Vista 1500. That's going to allow us to do a little more to the seat without getting it all the way. It still went down very quickly. So do be cautious of that. We got it up to 95%. So we're actually going to switch now. And we're going to switch over to the handlebars. The handlebars are all one piece, so both sides count towards this. So just be very careful. The other thing you have to be cautious of is that your cursor is not accurate. Quite often, the cursor you'll fire, you know, I'm aiming up there, but my stream is going down into the right because of perspective. It might be going through the handlebar and we can't tell from where we're sitting. So what you want to try to do is kind of aim above where you want to hit and bring the cursor down. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to just run it in right here. And with that done, we're going to come to this other side here. And we're going to be very carefully... We're 
working on getting the handlebar down further. We got it to 94%, so we're going to stop there. And we're now going to focus on the seat. So we're going to jump to the top of the bike, just like you do for the achievement. And we're going to focus on getting the seat down further. So we got this seat to probably like 90%, yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see if there's a portion we can hit underneath that won't hit the seat support too. And there we go. So we got the seat up to 96%, we got the support to 95%, and we got the handlebars to 94%. We're gonna start focusing on the other parts that overlap now. Uh, like the frame and the wheel here and the pedals down at the bottom. So, we're going to focus on the pedals first. So, work on the uh, the bar that goes from the pedal to this portion of the bike, which is considered the wheel. Uh, feel free to hit this, uh, as well as getting the bottom of the front fork. As much as you can. And what we're going to do is we're now going to go to the other side and do the same thing. We're going to focus on getting the pedal connector and getting the front fork up to the kind of the center there. And now we're going to very slowly go across the pedal. So we have that pedal down to probably like 90-ish percent. And now we need to work on this other pedal. So what we're going to do is aim a little bit to the left and just work our way over to the right. And just watch that health bar as much as you can. We have the pedals to 92%. We still have some more we can do there. Okay, the pedals are up to 94%. I think we're good there. We're going to stop there for now. We're going to focus on doing the frame next. And the frame is uh, this little piece here. So we're going to back up. And just work our way up the frame. As much as we can. And then we're going to work on the wheel that's close to the frame. And then, uh, same thing, we're going to work on this wheel that's also close to the frame before we get the frame too far down. The wheel, the big wheel, is the easiest portion to clean. So you want to kind of try to keep everything else uh, separate. And do the other things first so that you can save this big portion of the wheel for last. So now we're whittling down at the frame. Just keep going slowly, very slowly tap it and work your way down. Because you don't want to get too much of it cleaned and push it below what you can handle. And the frame is up to, what, 90, 96%. 
Where else can we get the frame? A little bit there, it seems like. So we're gonna we're gonna try to nudge the frame a little bit more. Okay, frames up to 98%. We're gonna focus on the small wheel down here then. So again, just kind of focus and make your way around the wheel. We got the small wheel up uh, probably above 95%. It's difficult to tell. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna focus on the forks or the fork here. We got the front fork to 93%. We're not going to risk it right now. We're going to focus on finishing off the wheel here. So to finish off the wheel, we're going to go back to the Prime Vista Pro. There you go. The achievement would pop now. I already have it on this account. Uh, as you can see, we have a 95% total. Nothing we have done has been completely cleaned, and we still have some room to clean more if we really wanted to. We can actually got up to 96% without completing anything. And there you have it. We got it to 97% without fully completing anything. If you have any questions for me, as always, I'm always willing to do my best to answer them. Uh, reach out to me and ask. I do appreciate the likes and subscribes and interactions and all that. So uh, if you would be willing to do that for me, I'd appreciate that too. But if not, I will see you guys in the next video.